Hi everyone, this video today is on how to calculate the length of an arc. Now, what is an arc? Let's talk about that first. An arc is the part, a part of the circumference of a circle. Part of the circumference of a circle. So, on a circle, that's not a circle, on a circle, that's a circle, an arc is just basically a piece of this circle on the outside. I alluded to it in the last video dealing with radians, but the arc is this part of it right here. Now we're going to learn how to calculate how long that arc is based on the size of the circle. So in our demonstration, we're going to call the radius of the circle R. Now the radius will be the same on both sides because that by definition is what a circle is. Now the angle in the middle, we're going to use this right here. It is a circle with a line through the middle and the circle with the line through the middle is the Greek letter theta. In math, most angles are marked with that symbol for an angle when you're not dealing with just a straight triangle. Okay, There are two formulas for this arc length problem. One in radians, one in degrees. So if you watch the radians video, you learned about how that works. The formula for an arc length is S equals the radius times the angle theta. That's it. Now, you will know that an angle is in radians if it doesn't have a degree symbol on it. That's how you know. If the angle they give you is in degrees, the way you do this is the same thing. However, you must convert your angle to radians as you go. So basically, it's going to be a fraction, it's going to be r times theta times pi over 180 degrees. So here are the two formulas for arc length. And you use the formula based on what your angle that is given to you. So I will give you a couple of examples of this. I need to draw a picture first. So. We're finding S here. This angle here is 83 degrees. And the radius is 6.8 centimeters. So because we are given degrees, we have to use the degree formula. Let's see how much paper I've got left. So this will be S equals R times theta times pi over 180 degrees. So it's going to be the radius, which is 6.8, times the angle, 83 degrees, times pi, all over 180 degrees. Now, you will go ahead and put this in the calculator as you see it. Now, if your calculator does not have a pi key, you can just type in 3.14. So when you type it in the calculator, it is 6.8 times 83 times 3.14 and then divided by 180. And you get 9.845. So you need to read how many significant figures they want. In this case, since our radius is given with a tenths place, two significant figures, we're going to put our answer as two significant figures. So it would be 9.8 centimeters. Now, because S is a line, a curved line, it's measured in centimeters, not centimeters squared. So there is the answer for that one. Next problem. This time, we're trying to find the angle theta in radians. So the question says to find 
theta in radians. So they tell us that the arc is 17 meters, the radius is 14 meters. So since it says in radians, we're going to use the radian formula, r theta, r times theta. So s is 17, r is 14, theta is what we're solving for. So think about how do you get the theta by itself? You divide both sides by 14. And you get 17 divided by 14 and you end up with the decimal of 1.214. And since both of these two numbers have two significant figures, we're going to do the same thing here. So this is 1.2. And you can write the word radians. You don't have to. It is understood to be radians if it is not labeled. That is something I discussed in the, in the radians work. Okay, for your assignment on this lesson, this assignment and the ones following for the most part are going to be book pages that are on the site, on the website where 2.4 is. So let me kind of show you where these are and what's there for you. So I'm going to switch over to the 2.4 page. And if you go down to here, it says arc length right here. Here's arc length. This is the video that you're watching. Here are the here is the book assignment that you need to do. And here are the two links to the textbook that has been scanned for you. So if you don't have a theta textbook, all the pages you need and their answers are right here. Now, notice it says page 192. It says basic and extension. So if you are going just for achieved, you only have to do the basic questions. If you plan to go for merit or excellence, you need to do the basic and the extension questions for both page 192 and for page 194. Now notice that 194 says only extension, so that if you're only doing achieved, you don't need to worry about the second part of this. You need to do the basic work, but if you're going to do the extension, make sure you do all the extension problems and make sure that you check them. These pages over here are not for you. Those are for a different book. That is for a different Theta textbook that we don't have scanned. So make sure you do the page problems that are to the left of the links to the book work. So for the next videos that you're going to be doing, the next two videos actually, um, it's going to be the same procedure. You go to here, you click on the link, you pull up the book page, and you do the questions that it tells you. Basic is for achieved, extension is for merit and excellence. All right, good luck on this assignment, and I'll see you in the next video.